Okay guys, I'm going to tell you the wee flag called the Simply Red. Now the hook in the face is a size 11, double black salar. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in red. Now, good wee back end flies, especially as we're coming in, you know, sort of way, September and the October, or just depending whatever wherever your facing season starts and ends if you like. So we're just going to get the thread started. A couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Just going to run on a couple of mil of thread and then remove the waist tag. Now the pattern the way it was originally put together I don't believe had a silver tag on the back but I'm going to put an oval silver tag on the back. I just like to do that. Just think that it Helps make the fly a wee bit stronger and, and face take the tag stops the material from fraying away. Now I'm just cut that in underneath. And I'm just going to bring my thread on down until I'm past the points of the hooks. And then I'm going to come round with four turns of the oval silver tinsel. And on my last turn bring it up and in between the two hooks. That slacks in the tag then couple of tight turns to secure and then we can nip away the waist end. The tail on the fly is just red bucktail. So I'm just going to get a wee pinch of the red bucktail off. And then just line it up in your hand the best that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you like it really uniformed and straight, you know, stack it. Just put it in the stagger. I just sort of way try and just line it up the best I can. Now it's going to do me there. The length of the tail, it's up to you. It's personal preference. You can have as long or short as you like. I'm just going to have mine run about two lengths of the hook over the back. Just going to come around with a pinch and loop. Then a couple of turns to hold. I want to come in and throw away the axis. I'm going to put a couple of strands of fleisch under the tail. It's just this red crystal fleisch. Trim that away. Stuff it up into the tail. Come around with a turn. Another turn to secure and fold the axis back. And trim that away now. Just moisten that. Leave that because I'm going to put some flesh into the into the wing. And then at this stage, I'm just going to run my thread up, just securing in the cut ends of the bucktail. And then on the way back there, I'm going to tie in my rib, and I'm going to use a silver wire. You could have used the oval silver tinsel if you wish, but. The silver wire just think makes the fly last a wee bit longer. And I'm just going to catch it in underneath. Same way I did with the oval silver tinsel. And the closer I get to my tail, just come in and hold the tail and bring my thread turns on to it. Now the first third of the body is a holographic silver tinsel and this is enlarged. Length that off. Just going to pull it into where I want the holographic tinsel to end. Then just come around with your silver holographic. A nice clean turn on to the back of the the body. Just come around. A couple of turns to secure. Come in and trim away the excess. Next part of the body is a red holographic tinsel and large. Now you could change these out and you could have an all red or an all silver body or opal mirage tinsel at the back instead of the silver holographic. It's up to you. 
just want to run my thread up tying that in. Then I want to come around with my red holographic tinsel. And just to see them again, as I did with the silver, just one turn in front of the other to create the remainder of the body. Then come in and trim away the excess. Then you can bring up your rib. And three, four turns on the body. There's plenty up to there. Fill it around with the thread. And I just like to get tight turns in onto the wire because that's what's holding the whole fly together. And then you can bend and break away the wire. Or if you've got designated scissors, you can cut the wire. Now we're, we're up on the ground. The wing, just red um, arctic foxtail. Or you could use red arctic runner, fin raccoon, anything, anything red for the wing. You can even use the bucktail again. Just use what you have. So we've just got our wee pinch of fox here. Just going to offer this up, probably just coming maybe halfway into the tail. Going to be fine for me from a wing. Just hold it on top, come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns to hold. Get my scissors here, get the radius wire. Then just come in and trim away the, the excess. Then I can go back to our two strands of red micro flesh. I'm going to put these under the wing. with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns to hold, we'll fold the axis back, a couple of turns back up over the top, come in and trim that away, get rid of that, bring my thread back up, I want to lower that wing a wee bit, okay, have enough of that, next part, you're going to get a red golden pheasant, or tippet feather, sorry, tippet collar, dyed red and just take out the center part of the feather just offer this up to the hook and then just come in and just hold it lightly come round with nice light turns, just want to see what way this is positioned first right now, I'm not happy with that I'm going to come back, I'm going to straighten the feather out, right? I'm going to come back in, just hold it on top again, right with the pinch and loop, now these are just loose turns again, there's the way I want it sitting, it's the way I like to fish it, okay, I'm happy enough with that, so I'm just going to tighten up, on the way down to the eye, then come in and trim that away, just tidy up the cut ends back up. Now at this stage you could go ahead and pull up, put on a, a full red hen feather or cock hackle, Chinese cock hackle, but I'm just going to, I've got a cheap, I tied this myself some time ago, just a cheap bodger cape. I've used most of it, you can see I've used most of the good fellers. I have a wee feller here that I've taken off. So, I'm just going to stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Get myself a tan in point. Offer this up to the hook. A couple of turns around to secure it in. I'm going to fold back the tip. Bring my thread back up over the tip and the hackle. Then I'm going to come in and just bring away the tip. Just come in with my scissors and just gently run that up the stem, your scissors up the stem of the hackle. And then I'll just come round with one turn in front of the other. Now it's very fine this wee hackle. So I'll probably use up the vast amount of it. Very fine barbs on it. I'm 
going to do me there. So I'm just going to follow it around with my thread. Get a nice tight turn in. Secures that in. Get my scissors. Come in and trim away the excess. I think it's going forward. I'm just going to come in and fold it back here. And get a bit of thread down for the for the jungle cat. Now I've got two wee eyes here on my desk. That's in there. I just want to stroke back the rubbish at the bottom that I don't need. Offer it up to the hook. Then I just come around and just hold them onto the hook. Just loose turns there. Just to see what way we're sitting. And to the right length. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Just hold the eyes. Really tighten up now on your thread turns, come back down to the eye of the hook. Then we'll come in and fold these back. Just tie your thread back up over the top. Now build up yourself a, a nice red head. Here, it's part of the fly too. And you can brighten it up even further with a with a glow bright floss if you wish now. Keep my thread tight, I'm gonna come in. Just break away the stems. Then I'm going to come in with my whip finishing tool and just do one a whip finish. Keep the thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away the thread. And there you go, guys. That's the the simply red. Now, just to finish off some super glue under the head. Now, don't get this anywhere else, just on the head of the fly, right the whole way right round. Once that's dry, I'll come in and hit that with a, coat of, a couple of coats of varnish under the head just to seal everything up. Crack them back in, we fly. Any flies with red on it, you really can't beat, especially if you fish river with rivers with peaty water, in my opinion. So, look, guys, get a few of those tied up. Hopefully, they'll catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. If you like the wee video, think about subscribing to my channel. Helps the wee channel out. Until, until next time, tight lines.